a very good afternoon all of you my name is dr soumya sha and today's topic for discussion is nitrogen fixation so before going to nitrogen fixation let us understand what is nitrogen metabolism so basically it is based on recycling of ammonia into a neutral and charged form of ammonia and this charged form of ammonia and neutral nitrogen is converted back into the atmosphere this is what we known as nitrogen cycle so basically according to nasa there is about 78% of nitrogen 21% of oxygen 0.93% of argon i also 0.04% of carbon dioxide with small amount of other gases also so means basically our human body is made up of protein and this protein is made up of amino acid now this amino acid requires nitrogen so from where we get this nitrogen yes answer is for plant but from plant where these plant gets nitrogen so this is what we are going to understand in nitrogen fixation process so basically we can say that nitrogen gas is vital but it is limiting it is like this if you are offered with a chocolate now you will relish on this you will feel that chocolate very tasty but what if you are gifted with cocoa seeds you cannot relish on it na so similarly nitrogen we require nitrogen in different forms but the atmospheric nitrogen which is present in this atmosphere is not used by us so that is why biological process known as nitrogen fixation is there so basically nitrogen fixation is any new natural or industrial process that causes free nitrogen which is relatively inert gas plentiful in air and it is converted into more reactive form of nitrogen that is ammonium nitrate nitride in other word we can say that fixation of nitrogen is a process of converting atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia in an other usable compound so basically nitrogen fixation are of three type the first one is nitrogen fixation of lightning which is also known as nitro physical nitrogen process in which lightning breaks the divalent nitrogen into other usable form now the second process is nitrogen fixation in by uh, in nature that is biological nitrogen fixation which uh, symbiotic bacteria or free bacteria free living bacteria can fix nitrogen in soil and root nodules also the third type is industrial nitrogen fixation it is also known as biological nitrogen it is a process of formation of ammonia in the industry so basically we can sum up the nitrogen fixation in this uh, process in two different categories first one is abiotic and then second one is biotic now abiotic can be of two type which is atmospheric or physical one and the second one will be your industrial one the biotic is of two type free living and symbiotic now the free living uh, free living type of nitrogen fixation occurs with the help of certain bacteria that can be aerobic bacteria anaerobic bacteria and blue green alga so nitrogen fixation can be categorized into two different categories the first one will be abiotic and the second one is biotic now again abiotic can be divided into two different form that is atmospheric type of nitrogen fixation and industrial form of nitrogen fixation now again biotic nitrogen fixation are of two type free living and symbiotic now this free living nitrogen fixation occurs with the help of different type of bacteria that is aerobic bacteria anaerobic bacteria and blue green alga again the symbiotic type of nitrogen fixation occurs with the symbiotic type of association between root nodules and stem nodules with different type of rhizobium forming bacteria so first of all let us understand uh, what is nitrogen fixation by lightning nitrogen is fixed or combined in nature as nitrogen oxide by lightning or uv rays it is a natural phenomena where the energy of lightning breaks and converts the non absorbable form of nitrogen into usable form 
this night this divalent nitrogen uh, is very strong it has a very strong triple bond so it required huge amount of energy to break the bond so this energy is uh, utilized by lightening so what happens the energy from lightening is enough to break the strong bond of nitrogen which allows nitrogen to react with oxygen forming nitrogen oxide this nitro nitrogen oxide precipitate to so into the soil through rain so snow where they can form nitrate in the soil now also we can find nitrogen oxide like nitric oxide nitrous oxide and nitrogen dioxide are also produced in the atmosphere by industrial process automobile exhaust so a uh, power station for forest fire etc but even though the contribution of lightning in the nitrogen fixation is a small we it fix very small amount of nitrogen but it is very essential for these plant to replenish the deficiency of certain essential elements this is what it is shown in this picture so second type of nitrogen fixation is nitrogen fixation in nature that is known as biological nitrogen fixation so how the major amount of nitrogen which is found in the atmosphere is fixed by this process about 90% of nitrogen is fixed by this process so it is a two type so it is it can occur with the help of two type of bacteria the first one is free living and second one is mutualistic type or symbiotic type of nitrogen fixation so what is the difference between them so second type of nitrogen fixation occurs with the help of symbiotic type of bacteria which show close association with root nodules and uh, root nodules and the bacteria so let us understand non symbiotic nitrogen fixation so here free living bacteria which do not uh, find leguminous uh, roots so they fix this nitrogen in the soil only so this is very primitive type of nitrogen fixation process and this is occur this occurs with the help of aerobic bacteria can be uh, chlorostidium and it can be also of anaerobic bacteria that is azotobacter and it occurs in multiple steps so what happens in this process the atmospheric nitrogen is fixed into ammonia and now this ammonia is converted into nitrite with the help of nitrogen fine bacteria that is nitrosomonas now again this nitrite is converted into nitrate with the help of nitrate fine bacteria which is nitrobacter or nitrospira etc so this is basically a very primitive type and it is a reducing process but it is different from respiration okay so again we can say that nitrogen fixation in non symbiotic type of nitrogen fixation there are four different type of bacteria which is involved the first one is aerobic which can be of photosynthetic and non photosynthetic the example of photosynthetic is chlorobium or clo mercium and the non photosynthetic it is azotobacter or byzenzia so here some of the example of non symbiotic bacteria are shown in this slide so first one is aerobic bacteria which can be of photosynthetic the example of photosynthetic bacteria is chlorobium or clomercium and the second type is non photosynthetic the example of which is azotobacter and byzenzia anaerobic bacteria can be also of photosynthetic whose example is rhodospirillum and non photosynthetic that is chlorostidium uh the third one is blue green algae example of which is nostoc and avena ostetularia and the fourth one is chemosynthetic the example of which is disulfo vibrio the again the second type of nitrogen fixation is symbiotic type of fixation so here those leguminous plant they develop special type of nodules on which these type of bacteria reside they are uh, in this type of association the both organism that is root or plant and that and that uh, microorganism is benefited this type of association is known as mutualism or symbiotic type of association 
so here they can survive independent independently but if they are together they both are beneficial for them so what happens here symbiotic bacteria forms mutual beneficial association with the plant ensuring a continuous supply of nutrient the bacteria fix nitrogen providing the plant with essential nutrient in return what does plant do the plant supplies bacteria with sugars and other organic compound which is required for their living example includes leguminous root uh, nodules like rhizobium and bradyl rhizobium bacteria with legumes like beans and pea and there are certain long, non leguminous plant also that is frankia bacteria which with elder trees and some other plants so what is rhizobium it is gram negative bacteria of bacilli it is free living but when they are associated with the root legumes they fix nitrogen if they are not in the association with the root leguminous root root they do not fix the nitrogen so this is what happens in the nitrogen symbiotic nitrogen fixation so what happens the interaction between particular strain of rhizobium with appropriate with appropriate legume is mediated by not factor which is secreted by rhizobia that bacteria and the membrane receptors on the cell of root hairs of the legumes okay so different strain of rhizobium produce different not factor and different leguminous plant produce different type of receptors okay so within the nodules the bacteria converts nitrogen into ammonia which the host plant utilizes for its development okay it is clear to you so now the host plant will get na ammonia from this bacteria which is fixed with the in the nodules okay so to ensure sufficient nodule formation and optimal growth of legume uh, seeds are usually inoculated with commercial culture of appropriate rhizobium species especially in the soil poor or lacking in the required bacterium so this is the reason behind farmer implementing the crop rotation where leguminous plant helps to replenish nitrogen content in the soil without necessity of fertilizers so if we will consume all the nitrogen all the nitrogen uh, present in the atmosphere is fixed by these bacteria or physical process then what will happen all this will be nitrogen which is present in this uh, atmosphere will be consumed so again from where we will get this nitrogen so that is why it has to be recycled into the atmosphere so how it has been done so basically what happens when uh, we humans or animals they consume this nitrogen uh, these plants these uh, plants they get nitrogen from it but after death the decomposers act on it and they decomposes the body of that animals or humans and now uh, after decomposition the nitrogen is again revert back into the atmosphere but this atmosphere the nature never only uh, relies on this type of decomposer only so there are certain bacteria also which uh, revert back the this type of nitrogen into uh, uh nitrogen which is again converted into free form of nitrogen in the atmosphere so this is the process which is which is known as denitrification now what happens the process of nitrification involves turning of nitrate into gaseous nitrogen okay so this occurs with the help of different type of nitrifying bacteria which is the example of nitrifying bacteria for example thiobacillus micrococcus cerasia etc so this basically occurs in anaerobic condition like swampy and waterlogged soils so basically the whole metabolism or mechanism can be uh, summarized in the single step chemical reaction that is nitrate is converted into free nitrogen and six molecule of water but this is not the full reaction this is the half reaction only so let us understand what happens in the the two half of the reaction what happens in the two half of the reaction 
so firstly what happens uh, nitrate is converted into nitrite with the help of enzyme nitrate reductase now again this nitrite is converted into nitric oxide with the help of nitrite reductase enzyme again this nitric oxide is converted into nitrous oxide with the help of nitric oxide reductase enzyme again this reaction is terminated with the help of nitrous oxide reductase enzyme which converts the nitro nitrous oxide into free nitrogen so this is very important to notice that any of the product produced at any step any step can be exchanged with the soil and the environment so this is the overall chemical reaction for biological nitrogen fixation in which it is depicted that nitrogen free nitrogen is uh, fixed into ammonia with the help of 16 atp and 16 oxygen by releasing hydrogen ion and 16 adp and 16 pi so this is what we, uh, the whole process of nitrogen cycle is shown in this image now again let us understand what is industrial fixation so how industry in industry nitrogen is fixed so it is done by the help of havers process so there is a uh, havers process also for the fixation of nitrogen but there are certain other methods also so this let but here we will be discussing about havers process okay so what happens this is developed this process was developed by fritz haber in 1909 okay so what happens in this process free nitrogen with the help of hydrogen is converted into ammonia it is converted into ammonia but here one thing has to be applied a moderate temperature and high pressure so moderate temperature of 400 to 500 and then high pressure of 15 150 to 200 atmospheric pressure is applied for this process here uh, iron is used as a catalyst but molybdenum is used as a catalyst promoter so this is what uh, we know we understand about nitrogen fixation in industry so this is the direct synthesis of ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen and this is the most economical fixation of nitrogen process which is known till date in the industry so this is the overall process of ammonia formation in haber's boss process and which is she is shown in this figure this is how the making of ammonia occurs in the haber's process so it is a first industrial chemical process to use high pressure for chemical reaction it directly combines nitrogen from air with hydrogen under extremely high pressure and moderate temperature what we have seen in the subsequent slide okay so lower the temperature and higher the pressure is used greater the proportion of ammonia yielded in the mixture so what happens if we are applying lower temperature and higher pressure the higher or greater proportion of ammonia will be yielded in this process this is what is known as haber's process haber process is most economical for the fixation of nitrogen with the modification of continuous in the use as one of the basic process of the chemical industry in the world so whole physical and biological nitrogen fixation is shown in this uh, slide so we can see that how nitrogen is fixed with the lightning strike and then how ammonia is formed now how ammonia is then converted back this is what which is depicted in this slide सर ये हो नहीं रहा है प्ले, प्ले हो गई थी पर वापस ये सो हियर वी हैव सीन द कंपैरिजन ऑफ हेबल्स प्रोसेस एंड हाउ इट इज nitrogen is fixed with the help of some bacterias 
So in first figure, it has shown the comparison of nitrogen fixation by industrial Hebers process and dyers of trophic prokaryotes. So this is shown in the first figure. And now in the second image, what we are showing, three strategies for how biological nitrogen fixation occurs and how it can be utilized to increase in the crop by improvement of this process in naturally plant association bacteria. This is how what is shown here and novel node formation, it is nodule formation and by direct transfer of prokaryote nitrogenous gene in the plant genome. This is what it is shown here in the third step. So this is all for today. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.